Where the trillionaires, man? What he do it, y'all? Welcome back to another video out of here, man. And I'm saying. Now, I made a video about this literally like 30 minutes earlier. <laughs> I'm telling you what it is, man. And, uh, you know, what this setup it is that I got right now, right? Basically, I'm, in, I'm, in, I'm whipping in the car right now, some shit. You know, and um, basically, you know, I had it. I had it how I normally have it, like horizontally and stuff like that. I think, like, across the top. I don't know. I haven't been in school in a long time. <laughs> you know, but we're gonna talk though, man. So, you know, I said, since I got it like this, right? You know, it looks more professional like this. And um, basically, you know, this is like the, you know, also, because I do do my videos like on my, like my Word of Trillionaire, Word of Visionary videos. I do do my videos like, um, you know, I have it like, not like this, you feel me? Um, but I have it like, you know, like I'm holding up a phone like normally holding holding up a phone if that makes sense i don't know but but anyways man so to all my people that want to do youtube man to all my people that want to do youtube quick word of advice right quick man i'm gonna give y'all some game if you're a person that's trying to do youtube the way how i have my the way i have my home oh my god the way i have the way how i have my phone like how it is right now vertically that's how you supposed to that's how you supposed to record your YouTube videos, my G. So if you're a person that wanna do YouTube, if you're a person that wanna do like pranks, if you're if you're a person that wanna do vlogs, if you're a person that just wanna make YouTube content, then you gotta have your you gotta have your camera like this. You know what I'm saying? You have your camera like this, then voila, you know what I'm saying? You in the game. <laughs> Tell me what it is, man. But anyways, man, so welcome back to another video, man. And um title of this video is gonna be called Real Hustlers Don't Sleep. We taking naps. <laughs> You know, we're at talk though, man. Um, real hustlers don't sleep, man. Me personally, I am not a fan of sleeping. I don't like to sleep. Sleep, just like how 50 Cent said back in the day, sleep is the cousin of the D word that rhymes with meth. You know, real talk though, man. I'm telling you what it is. It really is. What do you get out of sleeping, my G? What do you get? Tell me. What, honestly, tell me. What do you get out of sleeping? Now, let me explain. Look, man. As we all may know, one thing that happens when you're when we're sleeping, right? One of the biggest things that happen when we're sleeping is we get negative dreams out of them. Yeah, I'm telling you what it is, real talk. We honestly get negative dreams. I'm just telling you the game. You know, here you go. You here you go. You might have a dream. You might have a you might you might have a dream where an alligator just walked in your house, right? Here you go. Your somehow some way your house is just flooded with water, and then all of a sudden an alligator just you got you got like three alligators in your house just just swimming in your house, and here you go. You you here you go. You 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 scared shitless. You probably on the table. You probably on the table. You just scared. And they they about they about to eat you. Then all of a sudden, out of the blue, you probably got some ch chimpanzees out of the blue just came out of the nowhere and something like that. They trying to, motherfucker, they trying to push your ass into the alligator. And this, this, this is how your dreams be. <laughs> you know, let, let me use another example right quick. There you go. There you go, right? All of a sudden, in the dream world, right? All of a sudden, you just, you just got pulled over for some reason. And here you go. You, you about to serve time. <laughs> And then this is how this is how dreams be. I'm just telling you game. It'd it be all random. It'd be weird. You know. But real talk though, man. If dreams are like that though, right? If dreams are like that, then the point I'm trying to get across is, you know, why are we sleeping for? Why are we sleeping for if dreams is not going to benefit you, my G? Why are we sleeping for? You have no reason to sleep. That's all this I'm trying to say, man. Real talk. So point I'm trying to get across is if dreams are like that, then you know why not stay up you feel me now i'm not look man i'm not saying that you have to stay up 24 7 you know that's what i plan to do all this i'm saying why not wake up earlier than expected because you get nothing when you sleep my g you honestly get nothing now let me use another example right quick right now as we all know one of the reasons as to why we like to sleep is simply because it feels great <laughs> i'm telling you what it is i don't know why it feels great for it but you know like when you know when you um Basically, you know, the dreams ain't gonna be great, <laughs> but you know, it's gonna, it's, you know, the sleep is gonna be great. You, you, might, you might wake up and say, This, oh, I feel, I feel, I feel restored. <laughs> you know, it's so real, real talk, man. That's probably what you're gonna say and stuff like that, you know. And real talk, man, that's what dreams are supposed to do. Dreams are supposed to make you restored. <laughs> I'm telling you what it is, man. But one thing that happens when you dream, though, right? One thing that happens when you dream is basically when you dream basically um what happens is you're gonna waste a whole lot of time so here you go right let's say because um most people you know most people when they sleep right they sleep for eight hours you know what i'm saying you know 
when you're asleep before they when you're asleep before they eight hours, right? Like I just told you. First off, you're gonna have dreams. You're gonna have dreams that you may not like, and then you're just sleep. You're just sleeping for eight hours. That's a full time job out in this bit. I'm telling you what it is. So, point I'm trying to get across is just like with a job, right? You know why you don't like to work a job? You don't like to work a job simply because it takes away your time, right? Same goes with this. When you're sleeping, right? It takes away. It takes away. Um, it takes away majority of your time. You're sleeping eight hours when in reality, what you could have did with that four eight hours that you were sleeping, right? What you could have done was you could have you could have done something very productive with your time. I'm telling you what it is. Like real talk, man. There you go. Instead of you sleeping for eight hours, right? How about let's so let's say you went to bed like around 10 p.m. Right? You went to bed around 10 p.m. and then you know most normally you wake up around like 8 a.m. or something like that, right? So here you go. You wake up around like 8 a.m. and now you now you got to get dressed. And you got to go. You got to go to work. You feel me? Instead of you waking up around, so let's say you, let's say you went to sleep around like 10 p.m. again, right? You went to sleep around 10 p.m. and instead of instead of you waking up around like 8 a.m., right? What you could have did. What you could have done is basically you could have woke up around like 3 a.m., right? You could have woke up around 3 a.m., 4 a.m., or 5 a.m. Um, you know, I wake up at 3. I'm telling you what it is. So here you go. You could have woke up at 3 a.m. And guess what you could have done? You could have you could have gotten a whole lot of things done. So let's say you're a person that's trying to get, let's say you're a person that, that's trying to get your body in shape, right? Now let me talk about this right quick. Like I just talked, like I just said. Most people, you know, they just wake up at 8 a.m. and they get ready to go to work. You know what I'm saying? And when you when you come back home from work, I'm just telling you what it is, man. When you come back home from work, you're not you're not going to be motivated to do whatever it is that you want to do because you're drained. You've been working the whole day. <laughs> this this is why I like to get done get things done before before I even start my day. But the point I'm trying to get across is so if you do start things before your day, right? Let's say you woke up at 3 a.m. You wake up at 3 a.m. and boom. You know, you could have worked out. You could have been on a treadmill. You could have you could have went to the gym. With some other things, man. You, you, you could have just started your day at 3 a.m. So you could have you could have did your fitness routine. You could have had your breakfast. You could have read a book. You know what I'm saying? If you into that. You could have, you know, if you're an entrepreneur, right? If you're an inspiring entrepreneur, then you could have you could have did all the things it is that you want to do. You know what I'm saying? If you're if you're a musician, right, you could have you could have wrote a song and you could have recorded it. You feel me? Um or if you if you um if you like to what's some other things man if you like to be in a stock market or something like that then you gotta check what's happening in the stock market or something like that real talk though man but what I'm trying to get across is there's a whole lot of things that you could have done in that time frame instead of you just waking up at 8 a.m. and then you gotta go to work you could you, look man you could have did a whole lot of things if you wanna woke up at 3 a.m. my G real talk so. But yeah, man, that's all it is I'm trying to say, though, man. All it is I'm trying to say, man, is I don't believe in sleeping, man. I, I, I don't like to sleep. I'm not a fan of sleeping. Sleeping does nothing. Real talk, man. Sleeping just takes away your time. Tell, and, and the biggest thing it is that we got in life, my G, the biggest thing it is that we have in life is time. I'm telling you what it is. The older the older you get, the more you realize how powerful time gets, how time is. This is why I reverse my age. I'm telling you what it is. I use the founder of youth, my G. Real talk, I, I honestly used to find a view. I, motherfucker, I am 18 again. I'm telling you what it is. Real talk though, man. But it's a reason as to why I did it. Because the first few years of my uh, first few years of my adulthood, I did not live it correctly. And I said, no, I'm not gonna sit back. I'm not no, I wasted I wasted I wasted I wasted seven years of my adulthood, my G. No, I'm getting my time back. I'm telling you, man, so I'm going to learn from my mistakes, use the phone of you, reverse my age to 18, and we're going to slow down time, and we're going to use time We're going to use time to my advantage. I'm telling you what, it, that's all it is I'm doing, my G, and that's all it is I'm trying to say in this video, man. I don't got no time to sleep, bro. I don't got time to sleep. Real talk. Sleeping does nothing. All sleeping does, especially if you broke. So now, now you broke and you like to sleep. You broke and you like to sleep. So here you go. You like to sleep eight hours of your day, gone. Then you gotta go work a job, eight hours, another eight hours of your day gone. So that's 16 hours right there, my G. So then when you get back, when you get back home for the crib after you finish working your job, right? Now you don't feel like doing anything. Now you're in a lazy state of being, which you are supposed to be. You're drained. <laughs> so now, you know, for that, for the next, for the next eight hours you got, right? Or should I say three? You know what I'm saying? But for the next, for the next um couple hours it is that you have for the day. You know, you're not gonna feel like doing anything, then boom, you're gonna go to sleep. You see what I'm saying? 
I told you, bro. I'm telling you, man. You gotta catch on to what's going on out in it. Don't need the game. But um. Oh yeah, man. That's all this I'm trying to say, man. Real hustlers don't sleep, man. Real hustlers do not sleep. You know, real talk, man. And what I mean by real hustlers don't sleep, I'm not just talking about money. Like I said, you can, it's a whole lot of things you could be doing. You could literally, like I said, you could work out. You know what I'm saying? You could you could start your entrepreneurial business if you if you want to be an entrepreneur or you are already an entrepreneur. You feel me? But some other things you could you could be doing. You could you, you could find some ways to make more money. You know what I'm saying? It's a whole lot of things that is that you could be doing. It's just all this I'm saying, man. I'm I'm making sure that I use time to my will because I'm not gonna sit back and get old and say, oh, I wish I could have did this. Oh, I wish I could have. I'm telling you, man. That's what that's what 99 of the population do. They get old. They they live in regret and die. I'm telling you, this is what people do. Tell you, man, all my, my best advice I get to, man, you better not end up like these motherfuckers. I'm telling you the game. I know I ain't. We're on top. So I learn, I learn from my mistakes and I learn from other people's mistakes, my G. But other than that, though, man, if you like this video, man, stay tuned for some more videos. And we out. Peace up.